Hi class, in this lecture here, I wanna talk about something called a payout annuity. All right, so in the last lectures, what you did was you learned about annuities. And in an annuity, what happened was is you started with nothing and you put, in, put money into an account on a regular basis and you end up with money in your account. Okay, basically what we used annuities for was so that you could save for retirement. It was like, oh, if I wanna have this much in my retirement account, how much do I have to put away? So in this section, what we wanna do is we wanna learn about a variation of this called a payout annuity. And so basically with a payout annuity, you start with money in your account. So you have a big lump sum of money and you pull money out of your account on a regular basis. Okay, so it's like, oh, I'll, I'll give myself basically a monthly payment, okay? But what happens is as you pull money out, any money that's still remaining in your account is gonna earn interest. And so what happens is after a fixed amount of time, what you wanna do is you wanna deplete the account. You wanna empty the account out, okay? So these payout annuities are typically used um, after retirement. Okay, this is like, oh, I've, I've you know, had some annuity, I saved for retirement. And then, you know, for this example, so perhaps you saved $50,000 or not 50, $500,000 for retirement. And what you wanna do is you wanna take money out of the account each month to live on, okay? And what you want to do is you want that money to last 20 years, okay? This is the idea of the payout annuity. All right, so the formula is derived in similar ways as we did for savings annuities. Details are omitted here. What I'm just going to do is I'm just going to give you the formula for a payout annuity. And what I want you to do as we go through this um, lecture, definitely have with you handy your graphing calculator, right? You, you know, you're going to want to be very, very meticulous in your work, and you're going to want to follow along with me with your calculator, okay? All right, so here's the formula. The formula for a payout annuity is the following. P sub zero. Okay, this is the balance in the account at the beginning. So think about this as um, how much you save for retirement. Okay, that's how much you, you know, I have, you know, $500,000 saved for retirement. This is equal to what we call PMT. This is the regular withdrawal, how much you're gonna withdraw. Another way you could think about it is um, how much you're gonna pay yourself each month in retirement, okay? So the balance you need in your account at the beginning is equal to how much you wanna withdraw each month, your PMT, times one minus, and then in parentheses, one plus R divided by N raised to the negative um, N times T power, okay? This is where R is the annual interest rate, N is the number of compounding periods per year, also, like how many times a year you're going to pay yourself. And T is the number of, of years planning to take withdrawals. You take this and you divide it by R divided by N. Now, this formula is if you want to solve for um, how much money you, you're going to need in your account. Another way you can look at this is um, how much am I going to, to solve for a PMT? How much are you going to be able to pay yourself in retirement? So here's another formula. You can take this just using some simple algebra and solve for the payment amount. Cross multiply this over. So how much you're able to pay yourself in retirement is your account balance at the beginning times R divided by N, all divided by, now divide this part over. One minus, then in parentheses, one plus R divided by N raised to the minus N times T power. Okay, I'm gonna have I'm gonna work us through two examples of each of these so you can see how to use the formula, identify what's given, and um, it, you know as I said, please have your calculator handy and watch me as I work through it. Um, you know you'll wanna maybe even consider pausing the videos and trying to work these problems on your own, and verify you know that you get the same formulas. Okay, let's jump right into it. <clears throat> so after retiring, so you made it to retirement. Congratulations. You want to be able to take a thousand dollars every month out of some account. Okay, so this is right off the bat. This is what you're given. You're given that how much you want to take out or withdraw is one thousand dollars. A little bit of a typo there. One thousand dollars every month. So that's twelve times a year for a total of 20 years, okay? And so basically after 20 years, you want your account to be at zero. 
and the account you know is going to earn 6% interest. Okay. How much will you need in your account? So how much do you need to have in your account when you go to retire? So right off the bat, it's asking to solve for this amount, okay, for the for how much you need in your account. So we just need to go back and look at the formula. This is equal to this one right here. It's your payment amount times one minus, and then looking back, one plus R divided by N raised to the negative NT power all divided by R divided by N. All right, so basically what you have to do here is you have to just plug into the formula and churn through the answers, okay? So how much I'm gonna need in my retirement account? Here, the, that principal amount. I'm gonna pay myself $1,000 a month times one minus, and then in parentheses, one plus the rate which is 0 0.06 divided by n, which is 12 times a year, raised to the negative n, which was 12. And then I'm gonna do this for 20 years, yeesh. And then I need to divide that all by r divided by 12. Okay. Very, 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 very carefully here. Let's grab our calculator, okay? So look, I'm gonna do this all, I'm gonna do the numerator all in one step and you have to be very meticulous with your parentheses, okay? A thousand times, I'm gonna start the first set of parentheses. One minus, second set of parentheses. One plus 0 0.06, divided by 12. Now I'm closing this set of parentheses, but I'm raising that to the negative 12 times 20 power. All right, then I need to come outside that set of parentheses and close it. All right, now let's we'll see what we get. I'm gonna get that number right there. And now wait, I still need to divide. So now divide and then in parentheses, 0 0.06 divided by 12 and close the parentheses. Okay, all right, it's gonna need a good chunk of change. You're gonna need And look, the reason being is, is like after the first month you take out $1,000, you still earn interest on the account. After you take out another thousand, you still earn interest. And then eventually over 20 years, you'll just deplete your money. But, you'll been, but you will have been able to take out $1,000 a month, okay? All right, let's try another one. So just changing the numbers around a little bit. After retiring, here's what you wanna do. You wanna be able to take out, all right, so you're, you're gonna, this is what you're given. You're gonna take out $1,500 every month. So my N is 12 for a total of 40 years. Ooh, long time, you're gonna live a long time. You know the account is gonna earn 9% interest, okay? So how much will you need in your account when you retire? So again, what it's asking to solve for P sub zero. So you just gotta go back to that formula. How much you're gonna need in your account is the payment amount times one minus, and then in parentheses, one plus R divided by N raised to the negative NT power, close that parentheses, divided by R divided by N. So again, what are we doing here? We're, we're, we're just gonna you know, plug in the values into the formula and, and, and work through it. So it's $1,500 we're gonna take out times 
1 minus 1 plus, now here I'm getting a better interest rate, I'm getting 9% divided by 12 raised to the negative 12, but now I'm going for 40 years, all divided by 0 0.09 divided by 12. All right, again, follow along with your calculator, okay? And I also encourage you, you know, if you want, pause the video and see if you can get the same answer, okay? All right, so I'm gonna do the whole numerator, 1,500 times, I'm gonna get my first set of parentheses, one minus my second set of parentheses, one plus 0 0.09 divided by 12, close that parentheses, and then raise it to the negative 12 times 40 power, and then close that original set of parentheses right there. Hopefully you get this number. And then now we're just going to divide this by, remember the set of parentheses, 0 0.09 divided by 12. Close that set of parentheses. Oh, and you should see this one right here. You're going to need 194,000 461,000 dollars and 35 cents. All right. You know the reason reason being this one's able to stretch for so long like compared to the previous one, right? Like you'll notice there's you know, $60,000 difference roughly here. Um, the interest rate makes such a such a big impact on on your savings and how much you're able to draw. And the difference, 6% three or six percent to 9% interest rate is big here. <clears throat> okay, let's switch it up. Now, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna do two examples where I'm telling you um, basically how much you have, and then it's like, well, then how much can I withdraw? Okay, so here's the problem. So you know you're gonna have $500,000 in your account. Okay, great, when you retire. Awesome, you did a good job saving for retirement and you have half a million dollars. You wanna be able to make monthly withdrawals for a total of 30 years. You wanna do it for 30 years. And you know your retirement account is getting 8% interest. The question is, is how much will you be able to withdraw each month? So what it's asking you to solve for is the payment amount. And so looking back at our formulas here, the payment amount is gonna be this formula right here. So you take how much you have in your account times R divided by N, and then divide that by, in parentheses, one minus one plus R divided by N, raised to the negative NT power. All right, so again, it's just plug in and, and turn through the results. So I'm gonna have half a million dollars. You know, you, you took this class and you, and you did a good job saving, times 0 0.08, divided by 12, you know, you started saving early, so you got this amount of money, divided by, and then in parentheses, one minus one plus my rate, 0 0.08 divided by 12, raised to the negative 12, and then I'm gonna, you know, have this account for 30 years. All right, grab the calculator, all right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna figure out what the, what the numerator is first, okay? So I'm gonna go 500,000 times, and in the parentheses, 0 0.08 divided by 12. So you should get that much. Now I'm gonna hit divide. 
And now you got to be careful here. Parentheses, first set. 1 minus, second set of parentheses. 1 plus 0 0.08 divided by 12. Close this little set of parentheses, but raise that to the negative 12 times 30 power. But then close that bigger set of parentheses there that you started with. And it looks like, wow, you are going to be able to pay yourself a good amount of money each month. You're going to be able to pay yourself $3,668.82. And you can see the different in payment amounts, right? Like uh, in the previous two accounts, problems you only had, you know, 130 and 190,000, but look, when you have 500,000, how much you're able to pay yourself. So again, starting early to save for retirement has big impacts down the line. All right, let's try one last one here, okay? All right, so now you know you're going to have $250,000, okay? When you go to retire. You want to be able to make monthly withdrawals for a total of 25 years. And you know your retirement account earns 10% interest. That's pretty good. How much will you be able to withdraw each month? So again, it's asking you to solve for how much you're going to be able to pay yourself. So you're just going to use this formula. Your payment amount, how much you're able to pay yourself, is the principal times R divided by N, then divided by, in parentheses, 1 minus 1 plus R divided by N raised to the negative NT power. So again, you just got to plug it in. You have a quarter of a million dollars saved. You're getting 10% monthly withdrawals divided by 1 minus and then in parentheses 1 plus 0 0.10 divided by 12 raised to the negative 12 and then this is going for 25 years times 25 all right let's grab our calculator Numerator first. 250,000 times, and then in parentheses, 0 0.10 divided by 12. We get this. Divided by, and now parentheses, first set. 1 minus another set of parentheses, 1 plus 0 0.10 divided by 12. Close that parentheses, but we're raising that to the negative 12 times 25 power. So in this case, with this, with this set of numbers, you'd basically be able to pay yourself oh, pretty good, $2,271.75. All right, class. Um, you know, again, it's just you correctly identifying the formula, plugging it in, and then being very meticulous with your calculator work. As always, if you have any questions, you know, please let me know.